Social distancing. Come on. Social distancing. Come here, Linda. Linda. Hey, hey Linda. Say hi, Linda. <laughs> hi, Booby. Social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> hey, guys. You know what? This is the first video I've done in a while that's really about nothing. And I'll tell you why. Because uh, we're locked in quarantine. We got a lot of our yard work done the other day, past couple days. And tomorrow we've got that big storm system coming through. So I'm just kind of tidying things up and we have to decide. Oh no. Oh no. The girls decided to pull. Oh, Why? Why you two do that? Why you two do that? Hey, all right, that's enough. I don't want it to get ugly. Oh, she got a hair bristled. Leave her alone, Cassie. She's not Cassie. She's... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> all right, that's it. All right, so anyways, we got this big storm system coming through, and so I'm sort of prepping things up. I'm going to bring some stuff in. We got to bring in some cushions, and we got to put stuff away, and uh, just sort of prepare for some high winds and whatever. So I went down and I'm checking out my generator. I'll show you that Yesterday Jacob came in came over and we cut So I taught him yesterday. I was teaching him diagonal cutting on a lawn So I had him do the world's worst diagonally and showing him the difference between a straight and a diagonal cut So we're doing that I'm debating on whether or not we got done aerating. Now we did the full aerating video. If you haven't seen that, watch that video. And I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to cut my lawn today because I know this the yard is just going to fill up with leaves and crap. I just know it's going to happen. So should I do it now or should I not do it now? I don't know. I'm kind of debating that. But let me walk down here and show you first the generator. By the way, hit subscribe we have some real videos <laughs> coming a whole bunch uh, i'm getting ready to do a power washing series each year i like to do a power washing series i got a new power washer i'm going to show you two of my top picks for power washers um and a whole bunch of accessories and ways to do we'll do driveway we'll do the pool deck we'll do show you fence we'll do patio i think we're going to repaint this patio and pressure wash it so hit subscribe it's that red thing somewhere around here i don't know and um, anything I'm talking about, by the way, people always ask questions about what. So in the description, click that link. That'll take you to a web page that is devoted to everything I'm talking about in this one video. So I'm going to put a link to the generator. I'll put a link to the real mower. I'll put a link to whatever. So anyways, we've got the, the lawn sweeper here, which I'll put a link to. And definitely have one of these. If you have a whole bunch of trees around your yard, See all these pine trees and stuff all around my yard? After a thunderstorm, this place is going to be covered and that pool is going to look like a pond. And so I'm going to teach Jacob how to clean pools. <laughs> Pool cleaning 101 with Doc. It's a pain in the butt with that thing. And no, I don't have a cover. Uh, I probably should invest in one. But, but we did the aeration. The lawn looks good. And we got a bunch of these pine pods, I call them. I see these little things here. They're like pine pods, I call them. And they're just everywhere, all over the lawn. What are you doing? You gonna look for some lizards? All right, so surprisingly, by the way, that noise you hear is the pool pump. I haven't pulled this out in seven or eight months, I don't think. And I was really surprised that the battery was still charged. So I turned it on, cranked right up after six months. And so what I usually do about twice a year, I pull it out, just hook it up to my recharger and I'll charge the battery, but that's, we crank right up on a full on a battery charge. Uh, I'm gonna link to this one. This is the dual fuel. It's a, a running watts is 3,400, starting watts is 42, I think it is, on gas, on propane, 3,800 on gas. But this, this, this unit right here, the reason why I like it is uh, is because you can switch over from propane to gas. So it has a gas tank, and then you can also hook propane tanks, which I always have two or three lying around in case you run out of gas. Um, an electric start. 
Now, I'll also link to an inverter, one just like this. This one, I think, is like $4.99 or something, and the inverter one is like 6 something. Now, the inverter system just gives you a little bit cleaner power for electronics, but I'll be honest, you know, I've never had any problems with electronics running this kind of system. We run TVs, computers, lights, everything, the basic stuff. I mean, most of the time you're without power for 24 hours, and mainly we're concerned about the, the nighttime. We hook this up to our little AC unit in our bedroom, so we have AC in the bedroom. I got, um, oh, here's a, here's a funny note. Uh, oh, by the way, I bought this two years ago. I looked it up on Amazon. It was 2000, July of 2018, I bought that. So this is my older McLean, and I uh, rinsed it off. It looks all pretty. You know, I haven't done any service on this thing. Bought it, what, over a year ago? Used it all last year. Haven't done any service. Took paper to the blades. Clip, clip, clip. All the way across. No adjustments, no anything. <laughs> God, it's such a nice unit. You don't have to grease anything. You don't have to do anything to it. So I haven't done any kind of maintenance to this unit, and I'm on my second year with it. <laughs> At some point, I'll do a backlap on it, but it's cutting beautifully. There's no reason to, to backlap it if it's not, really. So what else have I got to do? Well, I bought... Now, we did a video. I did a video on cheap organic matter. This cheap organic... I guess we'll call it cheap organic fertilizer. It's really organic matter. It's chicken feed, and I'll put a link to it. It's 14 bucks for a 50-pound bag. Well, I went and got seven bags of it hoping for a little bit warmer weather and it's in my garage and I gotta move it down to my shed today because we got a cold front coming through. Um, it was 41 degrees this morning. Not a good time for organic products. So I'm gonna skip next week. I think I'm gonna power wash next week and then we'll put down humichar and we'll put down some of the organic material. What are you doing way over there? You don't like the pool. You don't like the pool. Your sister likes it, but you don't like it. I'm gonna walk you over to the garden in a minute, but I wanna show you these knockout roses first. Now my knockout roses, the only thing they've had is I put PGF Complete Fertilizer, and then I think it's, uh, who is it, Bear makes a complete rose feed and systemic um, fungicide, insecticide type deal. But look at these. And these are just gorgeous. They're just knockouts. Oh, and here's a uh, special note for you. Another video got coming out. This old fence has been here forever. It's starting to fall apart. Let me show you over Whoever here. installed these posts, uh, put in really poor quality posts and they're all snapping off because they stuck them in concrete like idiots. And so I've got Half this fence is actually wanting to fall over, so I have boards supporting it. But I mean, look at, see what I'm talking about. From a distance, the fence looks fence looks fine. It's just but, getting tired and old. So I got a really good fence company coming over that's going to give me a custom quote on replacing this whole beast. And uh, we're going to have a, I think, a real pretty fence put up. So let's walk over and let's do a garden update real quick. Let me show you the garden. So my tomatoes are really doing well. Uh, tomatoes are at least twice the size as when I planted them a couple weeks ago. You can see the squash back here. This is a yellow squash. They're three times the size. Peppers are growing. And this is, <clears throat> this is the soil that the only thing, no fertilizer, all we're putting in is humichar and organic matter, and that's it. And it's creating its own food, not using any fertilizer this year. I'm gonna take you out front, but I wanna warn you, in my last video, I warned you. <laughs> do not wait. If you have to put down fertilizer in three weeks, don't wait three weeks, order it now. I'm just telling you the way that some people are complaining, oh, why can't you fulfill products? You shouldn't be selling products if you can't fulfill them. I'm like, dude, did you not know that there's a virus going on? Do you not know that there are entire production plants shutting down every 24 hours? because someone tests positive for the virus and they got to clean it. There are actually plants um, in certain states that have been ordered to shut down by the state. And those are the challenges we're facing right now. Um, 
if you need something, I'm telling people, I've already got fall product in my garage. <laughs> I've got fall product for this year starting to, um, to get in the garage. A lot of people haven't even ordered their spring pre emergent Let me show you a little trick I learned or something I did last or two years ago. This is kind of silly, but so my driveway ends here and I got a long truck here. Um, I just dug out a two inch section of dirt and I filled it with this real coarse gravel and now I can pull my truck further up and if I have a delivery from Lowe's like I'm getting today, a lot of heavy bricks, instead of them dropping on my driveway, I have them drop it here. That's where they drop it. By the way, um, septic tank, tank repair is all done. They came and pumped that. So another delivery today. Uh, the rest of my uh, rest of my little pavers here. Oh, what is it? 100, 150 of them. So we're gonna finish the backup. So last week what we did was I showed you how to install this edging in here, which is a double barrier edging, which has this plastic strip hammered in. And then the paver's there. And then backfill with mulch. It really comes out nice. And we're gonna do the back. Man, we got a lot going on today, don't we? There's a whole bunch of information in this video, Doc. <laughs> Come in here, I gotta clean my garage. I got everything scattered everywhere, excuse me. Okay, so this is my bags of organic. I'll put a link in the description of how you get that. We're dumping this out on the lawn this year. So I gotta move all this. This is what, mostly PGF complete in here. And then I think I have some, is any of this? This is double kill product. And what is this? And this is pre-emergent for the fall. That's all pre-emergent for the fall. I have more PGF complete over here for the whole summer. And I have seven bags of Humichar. But one of the things I want to talk to you about is, is the I'll be talking about the production time and, and why it's so slow this year. And a lot of it has to do with the virus and the production of biochar. So there's my front lawn. Very happy with it. Very happy with that right there. Now let's walk over. Yesterday, I came over myself and I cut barbs. I put out uh, her second coat of pre-emergent liquid and I put out a little bit of high phosphorus fertilizer. And uh, her lawn's looking really good. Then, <laughs> then we have our test zone. That looks really good right there. And of course, this line right here this is our rehab line. Never touch that. This is what we did last year. <clears throat> Before. That's Bermuda sod. After. Damn, that dog guy really knows what he's talking about. Now let's go to the world's worst that we're taking care of. Man, this looks good in here. And this really looks good. Now, most of this is common Bermuda in here. And Jacob cut it yesterday. It's looking, I mean, that's golf course. If it wasn't coarse Bermuda, you could play golf on it, but that's really nice looking. Then I had him diagonal cut. You can't really tell. I had him diagonal cut, the world's worst long. That's looking good. Now this is, Mainly PGF complete, thanks to PGF complete in here. That's the biggest thing we're putting here. But look at that. So uh, that's about it for today. Just a quick walk around. Hit subscribe because the most important humichar video of the year will be done this coming week. And then we're just starting some of our power washing and pressure washing series. Uh, everything from cleaning the sides of your house to your driveways, your sidewalks, your pools, fences, everything. That's about it, guys. Y'all stay safe. Keep your social distancing. Talk to you later. Dog.